Hello and welcome to Lakeside International Airport on this very nice bright morning. Where are we today? It's 8.20am and all of the main first holiday flights, uh, with Jet 2 mainly, have already left. A few more going, a few more EasyJets, Ryanair's, uh, but over at the domestic terminal it's quite quiet today. However, where it's quite busy is the international terminal, as all of the flights from the east, from Asia, are arriving in now. Then they'll complete their turns ready to go. First up here at the international terminal with the new double jet bridge installed is this Airbus A380-800 that Emirates has decided to send today. So very exciting, Emirates are now sending their A380s in on one of the three services they operate. The other two are still 777. So that's really nice to see. Uh, this is obviously coming from Dubai overnight and is now turning around and will be back out to Dubai in a couple of hours. Next up here we have uh, gate C8 which is currently empty, however not for long as this Boeing 777-300ER of Qatar Airways is on its way in. Next up just pulling into the gate is this Airbus A350-900 of Singapore Airlines. They have reviewed their schedule and now changed it slightly so we no longer have the Houston service. Uh, much to United's uh, relief as they are most likely going to be starting it. Singapore now operates uh, to, of course, Singapore and now Los Angeles. So it's come in this morning from Singapore with the rest of the carriers from the east. And will now be heading back out to Los Angeles with the American carriers in that wave. So that's their new route with Singapore and that is daily. Next up here we have this Boeing 787-9 of Virgin Atlantic. This arrived in with all those other eastern carriers from Shanghai this morning and it will be off again, a bit like Singapore, it comes in with the eastern wave and then goes out with the America's wave and uh, it will be going out today to Los Angeles just like the Singapore Airlines so there's a bit of competition on the Los Angeles route. And next to that we have an empty gate that the KLM will likely go into later. Speaking of that KLM, here it is, the A33300. It arrived in earlier from Amsterdam, where it had some maintenance, just a routine check. Now back at Lakeside at the end gate with no jet bridge, just waiting here until it will be towed to its normal gate for a flight to Santo Domingo, the capital of the Dominican Republic. Just now hopping over to the domestic terminal, we have this BA uh, City Flyer Embraer 170 operating the second flight of the day to London City. Uh, the first one was much earlier, in fact, it was the uh, very first flight out this morning. Just now to the next two gates, and we have some aircraft just going to cities more, um, not really the holiday destination anymore, that's mainly passed apart from a couple more destinations, uh, an aircraft we'll see later. However, just before that, we have this empty gate. And after this EasyJet uh, Airbus A321neo arrived in earlier from Madrid, so that was last night. And today we'll be making a flight out to Geneva. Next up here, we have this Aeroflot Airbus A320. A new venture for Aeroflot and ITA Airways, in fact. They're doing a bit of a partnership here on the Milan Linate flight, and then that goes on to um, Moscow. So Aeroflot operate Moscow to Lakeside, however, with this stop in Milan Linate. That's how ITA are involved. Uh, this is one of the first flights, I, I believe it's the third flight they're doing. So far, it's been okay. The Milan flight actually seems to be the most profitable chunk of its journey so we'll have to see how that goes with them. not many people traveling all the way through to moscow uh, bearing in mind ryanair do also operate the milan flight already to bergamo so it's be interesting to see how this flight plays out now just moving across to the remote stands we can find this boeing 737 800 jet2.com most of the jet 2s have already gone 757s the other 73s this is really the last one in this morning wave Heading out to Ibiza today, uh, arrived yesterday evening from Kefalonia. This is just getting fuel and cargo and bags, all just ready to go. And then just taxiing out of its remote stand is this Ryanair Boeing 737-800, based in Barcelona, arrived in about 45 minutes ago. Stayed here, standard Ryanair job, and now heading back out to Barcelona. Now just moving to the GAT, we have this rather interesting aircraft, this uh, 
Reiner, 737700. This arrived in from Pisa earlier with some. It was a problem uh, the pilots identified around the wing engines, possibly. They're just taking a look at it now. Not too sure what the problem is, so hopefully it's nothing too serious. Uh, as, we, as we know, that there's not much maintenance facilities here at Lakeside, so we'll have to see uh, how it's going to be. Hopefully, they'll be able to get that back flying again soon. And next, if you remember back to episode two, we saw this little business jet resting on the gat ramp. We thought that it would back, back off in the skies that day. However, it's still here, not too sure what it's doing. So obviously, it wasn't going to go that day. And uh, a couple of days later, now it's still here. So we'll have to, have to see on that one. Now, just uh, on the taxiway leading up to runway zero, right, we find this Airbus A320 of EasyJet arrived in from uh, Bristol last night and is making its first flight of the day out to Lisbon. Again, EasyJet are prioritising these city routes. And next, we can find this Qatar Airways 777-300ER going into that gate shortly that we saw. It's arrived in from Doha, part of the big eastern wave. And after its turn, we'll head right back out there. And with that, we have finished our tour around Lakeside International Airport. Uh, kind of the first wave, uh, towards the end of the first wave. And um, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.